Hi, my name is Maria Lee and I'm the CEO of Tech in Asia. Today, I'm here to answer some of the most commonly asked questions about Tech in Asia School, our latest initiative to connect Southeast Asia's founders. How many programs is Tech in Asia School running? Tech in Asia School currently has three different programs and we've kind of segmented it out based on where founders need the most help. So we started with the Aspiring Founders Program. This program is really for founders who are still in a day job, they haven't quite quit their job yet, but they are already dreaming about starting a startup and they're gonna do so in the next three to six months. So they might be running experiments on the side, they might be uh, working on their product already, but they're really looking for that extra boost of confidence before they kind of pull the trigger and go into the startup journey full time. Our second program is the Growth Program. Program. This one is for founders who have already launched a startup, they already have an MVP, and they might have even a few paying customers. But what they're really looking to do is accelerate their growth and build traction. This might be in order to potentially get external funding or really because they just want to grow their overall company and revenue. And the newest program that we're launching is a fundraising program. It's for founders who think that they are going to go out to the market and seek either investor funding or alternate forms of funding. And they really need to figure out how to deliver their pitch and tell their startup story so that they can secure that funding. What is the application process? So first of all, you just go to our website and then you apply for whatever program you think is the best fit. And we go through an interview round. The interview round is really, really critical because that's where we try to extract as much information about you as a founder, as well as your start maturity as possible. As you can tell, we segment our programs based on the actual maturity of the startup. So you can imagine that a cohort works best if everybody's in the exact same stage, they all have uh, MVP paying customers potentially. And so they can really share and leverage on lessons as they're go, all going forward towards fundraising, for example. How does a fundraising cohort work? The program really is for those founders who have an MVP and think that they're gonna be going out and looking for external sources of funding in the next few months. So this program really takes you through two different parts. One is understanding the different options that you have of, as a founder to navigate the funding process. Most people usually talk about VCs or institutional funding, but there are definitely other forms of funding. And so we wanna make sure that you understand all the different options available to you as a founder. So we go through that, we kind of break down the overall funding options and depending on which ones you wanna pursue, go into a little bit more detail about how to navigate those particular rounds. And the second part is really helping you nail your pitch. So on this one, it's really like best practices, stories about like what kind of moves the needle, any benchmarks and metrics that you might need to know and include in your pitch deck. The fundraising program will then culminate in an investor day where we're gonna bring in a lot of tech and Asia's investor network so that founders can do a meet and greet with other investors and start to build up their Rolodex of investors and as well as those networks. When are the classes held? So if you take our aspiring founders course, for example, we expect that people have a full-time job. So classes are usually in the evenings once a week and actually everything we structure in that program is basically meant to be done part-time. For our other programs, such as, such as growth and fundraising, we're gonna assume that you're basically a full-time founder now. So this is your job, your startup is your job. As a result, classes are usually during the afternoons and they require much heavier time commitment because everything that we're doing in class is really supposed to help you grow your overall startup. Will you guarantee me an investment? As part of the fundraising program, while we can't necessarily guarantee you an investment, because quite frankly, that's out of our hands, what we can do is make sure you're as well prepared for that process as possible and expand your overall network so that if you were looking for the investors, we can help connect you to the right people who would ultimately be the ones making the decision. How can you make my pitch deck better? The fundraising process will help you work on your pitch deck in two ways. First, your actual pitch deck. So we're gonna take you through some of the best practices of how to build a great pitch deck. But then, and I think probably more importantly, practice makes perfect, right? So on a weekly basis, you'll be pitching multiple times to the other members in your particular cohort, the TIA school team, as well as our mentor network. So once a week, we'll be bringing in external mentors who might be founders or investors themselves to basically provide feedback, um, advice, and guidance for your particular pitch deck. You might be pitching to a ton of different people. Some of them will understand your business model, understand your vertical and industry, and just have that sort of baseline knowledge. A lot of people will not. And so in reality, you have to be prepared to pitch to a variety of different people. What is the total time commitment for the fundraising program? The fundraising program is gonna run over the course of four weeks. So in weeks one and two, you're gonna have a two hour bootcamp where we're gonna cover some of the more theoretical concepts about the fundraising process, how VC funds really work, and then what needs to go into a pitch deck. And then there's gonna be at least one hour on a weekly basis for weeks one through four, where you're actually gonna be practicing pitching and watching other students in the same cohort pitch. This is where you're gonna get a lot of that feedback in terms of iterating and improving on top of your overall pitch deck. So I hope that gives you a better understanding of how Tech in Asia School works. If you're interested, definitely apply to our current fundraising program. The applications are already open. The cohort kicks off on July 12th and our applications are gonna be open until the middle of June. So thanks for tuning in today and hope to see you soon.